What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing things a little bit different here and changing up the format of these videos. Instead of doing an intro shot and then focusing on an overhead shot, we're just simply going to dive right into the overhead shot and keep this the entire time. Now the reason I'm doing this is just this is a much better lit setup and it's just a lot easier keeping it this way instead of trying to switch back and forth. There's just a little bit more controlled. But with that being said, let's dive right into the point of this video. As you guys can tell from the title of this video, it is going to be my Palde Evolved binder after opening up 53 packs. Now with that being said, let's dive right into it because as you can see right off the bat we are using another different binder than I've been using in the other two this is going to be the Ravel nine pocket binder with the top loader sides this is going to be my absolute favorite one I've been testing out a bunch of different binders this is the one I keep going to as my favorite and I'll have this thing linked down in the description below but as you can see first page we're just missing a couple of reverses and we have the first of many EX cards right there now I do feel like we're doing pretty dang good on the reverses as well as the EX cards and then just like my previous video on the Scarlet and Violet base set. I have everything labeled that I'm missing so that way I know exactly what it is that I'm missing. As you see we're going through and a lot of what we're missing is just reverses. We are missing a couple of EX cards here and there but mostly just reverses at this point and then obviously a couple EX cards like I just mentioned as well as a couple of random little um, just commons, uncommons, double rares, stuff like that. Now we are going through just kind of quickly looking at it and as you can see you can see the labels on here, which is the Quaxley Reverse, and then you have the regular Quaxley right there. Just kind of exactly how I did it in the previous videos. Like I said, I just wanted to go into a video and kind of showcase what you guys could expect opening up 50 packs of Palde Evolved. Now, I must say, I think I'm doing a lot better than I was doing on the Scarlet and Violet base set. As you can see, we have a good amount of cards here. And I think even at the end, right here is another example of another EX card. That's a double rare right there. Like I said, we're just doing pretty, pretty good if you have to ask. Or we're doing pretty good if I do say so myself. Jeez, getting a little tongue-tied already. I haven't done one of these videos in quite a while. Plus, I have a whole new setup in a whole different area. Doing this in my living room instead of going in the previous area that I was. Which is a shop at the garage, my mom's house. Long story short, you guys don't care about that. But as you see, labeled here, this is the Tinkerton non hollow That's like the promo but not promo card that comes. And then you see the Manke Hollow and the Primate Hollow right there. These are going to be in the Primate EX box that comes out later on this month. Or it might actually be coming out already by the time this video goes up. But uh, here we go with another Life and Rock EX card that we are missing. And you see, everything's just hyper-labeled, super organized, and I just like it that way. So that way I know exactly what I have and exactly what I don't have. I can just take a quick glimpse and see exactly what I'm missing. Once again, we have another EX card right there. So like I said, oh, and we have another one right there on the squad about. So like I said, we're doing pretty good on the EX cards. I feel like we're probably got over like 50% of those. We have a couple pages that are almost completely filled. But as you guys can see, this is a good glimpse right here on this page. It just looks so cool with the nine pocket that's fully filled out. I just kind of like this nine pocket. I like the D-rings. I like to be able to swap the pages out. If one of these pages is damaged, I can just take it out, remove it, and put another one in. I have a bunch of these binders now with extra pages. So I can just swap them out, replace them as needed. I can uh, change it up put the secret rares in the front if I want, put them in the back where they are in numerical order, anything like that. This just is a lot better of a setup that I like. I still want to do a video on all the different binders that I bought to test out, but um, we'll see if I want to do that going forward. Now this is where we're getting to the end here and we're getting into the trainer cards and the items and stuff like that. So I am missing, I feel like a pretty good amount of those, which is strange. It's kind of funny how that works out. And then here we go at the end. I ran out of <laughs> labels on a couple of these, so I didn't bother doing that. And here we get into everybody's favorite, the secret rares right here. We got the Heracross right there, Florigato right there. And as you can see, we got, oop, I skipped a page. Let's go back. We got a Gothrita right there. And we got the Grafii, one of my absolute favorite pages or cards in this set, I think. We got a Mousehold, Fortress, and Chen Pao right there. Like I said, we're not doing too bad for only opening up 50 packs. We got a Faulkner and a Miascarada right there. Like I said, we're doing pretty dang good, if I have to say so myself. Then we have the Boss's Order, and last but not least, we got the Hyper Rare Chen Pao Gold right there. Like I said, we're doing pretty dang good, and that's kind of my binder so far after 50 packs. Nice, quick, short video. Like I said, I have about three 
four, exactly four pages left as extras. Like I said, I just really like this nine pocket binder. I just think it looks really good. It's really nice. The D rings are really sturdy. They don't get stuck on the pages, kind of like some other cheaper ones. This, like I said, is the Ravel nine pocket holds, I think about like 480 cards. So it's plenty enough to have a full set that's gonna be organized just like I have. If you guys haven't noticed, I do normal, then reverse. And then if I get any card quite like the Sprigatito right here, we have a normal reverse. And then we have a special kind of like faux promo card that has a galaxy hollow right there. That's going to go right there, as you can see, nice and labeled. So I have these things laid out pretty organized, like I said. And this has plenty of room in the binder. But that's just a quick glimpse at what you guys can expect. Opening up 50 packs of Paldea Evolved. We're going to end the video here because, like I said, I don't want to make this video too long. It's just a quick little glimpse at what you guys can expect and a quick glimpse at my binder after opening up 53 packs. So with that being said, guys, peace out, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.